hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be sharing with you our road trip to udaipur this is quite a late upload as we had visited udaipur in mid june earlier we had planned to visit kashmir by road and we had done all the bookings but a uh, few days before the trip we heard that there was a landslide on the jammu shrinagar highway so we cancelled that trip and instead we planned this trip and it was uh, very good Though summers are not the season to visit Jaipur or Udaipur as it is quite hot here but if you want to have a peaceful quiet time with your family away from all the crowd then you can book a beautiful resort here and stay for 2 uh, to 4 days so we first stayed in Jaipur for a night and then uh, the next day we traveled to Udaipur by road here i would like to especially mention this restaurant bhilwara midway This is around three and a half hours away from Jaipur. We stopped here for lunch and we got nice hospitality from the staff. And fresh, less spicy as per our request, curry pakoda. And I think this was one of the best meals of our trip. And there are not many decent restaurants on this route. We passed lots of restaurants near Jaipur, but as we go farther away, uh, the options are very less. The distance between Jaipur to Udaipur is 393 kilometers and there are several routes to reach Udaipur but we took the route via NH48 as it is the best route shown by Google Maps and we also checked with some locals so they advised this route only and the road conditions here are excellent it took us around 7 hours to reach Udaipur as we made a stop for lunch also Otherwise the total time shown is around 6 and a half hours. The weather here was not totally unpleasant as uh, the monsoon has just started there. We stayed in Udaipur for 2 days and booked two resorts for 2 days each. I will give a review of both the resorts in my next video. So please subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified when I upload the next video. The best time to visit Udaipur is from October to March as there are several beautiful forts and lakes to visit here which require a decent amount of time in the open. A must visit place in Udaipur is the city palace which is quite huge as it has palaces of 11 separate rulers uh, together in its large complex and uh, it was started in 1559. So it is best to visit here in winters so that you can easily explore the palaces and not be bothered by the heat of Rajasthan. Another beautiful place to visit is Saheliyon ki Badi. It is a garden with lots of fountains, kiosks, a lotus pool and marble elephants. It also has a museum with lots of information about Indian history. So you can have a mesmerizing and beautiful time here in this huge garden with its rich history and culture all around. Another must visit palace in Udaipur is the Sajjangarh Moon Palace. It was built in 1884 on a hill top and has beautiful views of the lake Fateh Sagar, City Palace and Chittorgarh Fort. The palace is built with stunning white marble and the royal family used the palace to watch the monsoon clouds which brought the name uh, the monsoon palace to it. Some lakes to visit here are the Fateh Sagar Lake, Lake Pichola, uh, Uday Sagar Lake and Jaisalmer Lake. All these lakes have several hotels and resorts also so you can book these resorts and enjoy beautiful scenic views. We also stayed in a lake island resort and it was a very beautiful experience. I will share with you in my next video. Traveling with kids it is hard not to visit a mall so we visited this small nexus celebration which is the biggest mall of Udaipur. So kids had a fun time here playing in the gaming zone having lunch and doing some shopping that's all for today if you liked my video please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries regarding this video please write in the comment section below i will post soon about my rest of the trip in the next video so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe